Chapter 12, problem number 12. In this particular case, you're a purchasing manager and you're provided with the number of units, the cost per unit, the carrying cost is stated as a fixed amount. The carrying cost can also be stated as a percentage and the average ordering costs takes five days to receive an order and the demand for one week is 120 units and there are 250 working days per year. So we need to find the economic order quantity. So go to chapter number 12. This is an EOQ calculation and it doesn't hurt to select reorder point and I'm also going to select graph. You don't have to, but you have to be careful with the holding costs. Are they a fixed amount? In this case, they are. They're $10 a unit or a percentage, which would represent 3% or 7% or whatever the case would be. So the annual demand, all right, you're going to take the 52 units, 52 weeks, and multiply it by 120 units get the annual demand. Actually, sorry, 6,000 units in the year. So they're obviously off two weeks per year. The ordering costs are $30 a unit. The holding costs are $10 a unit. And the unit price is 100. So, <laughs> to answer this question specifically, what is the economic order quantity? The answer is here, 189.74 is how much you should order, or as close as you can get to that if the product is only available by integers. What is the average inventory? It's simply half of the 189. So the answer for part B is 94.87. So on average, you'll have almost 95 units in your facility or warehouse. What are the optimal number of orders per year? You're going to order 31.62. And you can see they've got the formula. They take the annual demand and they divide it by EOQ or Q. Now, what is the number of days between orders? Now, you're going to have to calculate this, so I'll put this to the side here. So for D, you're going to take 365, and you're going to divide it by 31.62, and this will represent the number of days. You would assume that it's 365-day year, unless it says otherwise. And that's a calendar days, not work days. So that's the answer for the part D. All right, that it's time between orders is about 11 and a half days. What's the annual cost of ordering and holding? So the total annual cost in this particular case is in this particular case because we put in the annual costs so the answer for e is actually 1897.37 i take out the hundred which is not necessary or put it in a zero that's where you get so depending which way you like to do it what if the total annual inventory costs including what is the total annual? That's what we just calculated. So in this particular case, would you put in the 100 here? F, the answer should be 6, 897, and 37 cents, including the cost of the inventory. As it says, including the cost of the 
6,000 units at $100 each. So that's the difference between E and F. E is simply the holding costs and the ordering costs, and F are all the costs, including what accounting people would call cost of goods sold.